I'm listening. What do you make of having a vampire or a champ? I know what it is to hunger. And I know what it takes to keep that hunger under control. He's done that so far, despite his condition. So long as he sates his appetite elsewhere, I'm happy to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll catch you later. Well, tell me, Will, how did you become the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said, one does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. And he named you Blade of Frontiers? No, but he named me friend, and that meant the world. But what of the others? The children never saved. The cries never heard. In the boy's tears, I finally saw the suffering wrought by the villains of the wild. The frontiers demanded a blade, and so I heeded. It's nice to finally put a face and name. And it's nice to meet someone of your talents. Having a worm wriggling in my skull didn't instill much confidence in the days ahead. With you as my ally, the future looks a little less daunting. You noticed your stone eye. Did you lose it in a battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone, carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends in calmer days. Cool. Catch you later. Speak. You know what happens if we don't find a cure? Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. That's Words not gonna happen. Forged in steel. Find a cure. May your actions express the same metal. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. You're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. Yes. If you give it no further thought, but anomalies lead to surprises, bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. Well, uh, on that note, catch you later. <laughs> Nothing like a little camp drama to spice up the evening. <laughs> it's almost a pity things ended so amicably. Seeing those two duke it out would be fun. I kind of need you in my party. You're our only rogue. Um. Well, obviously I would. But you have so many followers already. I wouldn't want to crowd you. Uh, take Shadowheart's place. Well, in that case... I'm all yours. Something the matter? Uh, I'm sorry, 
you're not telling me, I'm sure of it. I don't know what you mean. I don't know, I think I, I think you know exactly what I mean. It's nothing, really. Well, we have to be honest with each other. What is it you've been keeping from me? You're not going to let this go, are you? You might wish you had. I worship Shah, the mistress of the night. It is my holy mission to oppose Selina, her teachings and her followers. Yeah, is cool. <clears throat> it hurts. Now that you have the truth, please don't make a big fuss about it. You told me. How long were you going to keep this secret? Forever, ideally. And you assume too much about what I can and cannot tell. Secrecy is everything for Shah's children. It is our code, our creed, our shield. Oh, I get it. I even keep secrets from myself. I had my memories suppressed so that nothing I know could be used against the Dark Lady. Once I prove myself, my memories will be restored. I'm not sorry I kept this from you. Not one bit. Though, perhaps that might change. If you can show an open mind. Well, thanks for telling me, at least. I mean, you're not gonna blow up, or eat us at night, or explode. Wait, I have two members of my party that could explode. Thanks for telling me, at least. Don't thank me. I'm breaking Lady Shah's teachings just by doing so. But sometimes you have to be practical. Well, I gotta know you more, Shadowheart. You already know my biggest secret. What more can you ask? I mean, what drew you to Shah worship? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Selenites tell. Tell me something about yourself besides Char, besides Tadpoles. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? That's it exactly. Anything else? No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memory suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. And I can't remember much of myself, either. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. What is his mission? That is not for you to know. Leave it at that. Okay, catch you later. Withers, what's up, my man? Fate spins along as it should. Of course it does. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? I don't be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Goblins aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Uh, focus on how many divine energy you feel from his presence. Hell yeah. He has a divine aspect, yes. A reflection of death itself. Eternal and inescapable. All that power. You would 
God's chosen? I shall answer no further questions in that regard. God's chosen, I got it. Bye. For a little bit. Thanks for talking to everybody. New to say, Brennerana. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. Just met. Jeez, I'm a bit strong. <laughs> 